I am back today with another Camry Mini PC, and this one's really interesting because it actually has a VGA jack, which uh, kind of makes me wonder if this would be good for like a little emulation station or something. It's definitely interesting. It has the two HDMI, a USB 4 on the back. It does have a mic thing. It has a LAN port, and then you have two, or you have three USBs on the front. It's just like. The VGA adapter, that is interesting to me. Maybe I'll get the VGA monitor out at some point and fire it up on that. Not in this video, but because I'm not sure where my VGA monitor is, but pretty cool. So let's get this inside and check it out. I will say this does have 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gigabyte SSD in it. It's not the biggest powerhouse, but it's still an interesting little mini PC. I think the price point's right around like $200, maybe a little less, maybe a little more depending on what kind of sales are going on. But yeah, let's take a look at this. So we jumped right into this. I am running this on a touchscreen monitor, so it's not the best monitor. So don't let that like put you off of this thing at all. It's just interesting to me that this has five USB ports and a VGA port. It makes me think this is probably for, intended for like use as an emulation station. Let me turn that volume down a little there. It's an interesting little PC. It, it has pretty adequate ventilation. I'm gonna get a thermal gun here and I'm gonna take a look at the temperatures as we run these benchmarks. The only thing I can think is that you're not gonna play like top tier games or probably even somewhat older games on this thing. I mean, it's, it's not exactly a powerhouse, but it should be all right for a home theater PC, um, you know, run whatever you want to run there. It should handle that pretty fine as long as you aren't doing like crazy, like 4K transcoding or something. I think it would be a nice little machine. I got my thermal gun turning on here and we'll go ahead and take some, look at the temps here. So see if I can get this on camera for you there. Like it's not getting too hot. I'm seeing about 77 on top where these stickers are about 79. Um, I mean, even just the little power plug and the HDMI and stuff are like 79. We will continue to let this run. We'll do a couple benchmarks and then we'll take a look at how it is handling the temperatures. I am getting about 105 inside the vents here. So yeah, real quick, let me get my mic close here. And it's really quiet. Like if you had your television on, I don't think you're gonna notice that. So we'll we'll see what the, we can get to thermals too and see if it's like a concern or not. But I think this thing's gonna handle uh, heat dissipation pretty well. So that first benchmark's done and the hottest I'm seeing is about 118.8 Fahrenheit, which really isn't anything. And again, it's still really quiet. Now, yeah, Battlefield 5, 1440, you're getting less than 20 frames a second. At 1080p, less than 20 frames a second. Let's check Fortnite. Fortnite, so you can play Fortnite on this at 1080p Ultra. You're getting 160 plus frames per second, which is actually pretty surprising to me for, for the price of this thing and how quiet it's running and how cool it is staying. It'd be great. Like if your kid doesn't want top tier graphics, it's a cheap little Fortnite computer, pretty good. It's gonna run another benchmark, but instead I'm gonna jump into the SSD one. Keep forgetting I'm using a touch screen. I'm not too concerned about those temperatures. This SSD test is probably gonna take about 30 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go run some errands while that happens. I need to pick up the mail. Gotta go pick up some hard drives for another project. So we'll run this and we'll come back and take a look at this. Then we'll run another one, maybe the CPU one and see if we can't get it to get a little warmer. But yeah, we'll be back. The SSD test is done and it did a lot better than I thought it was going to. I've seen save game as low as 20 a second on some of these mini PCs. So this one's doing decent enough for anything you're gonna do with this specific machine. And this would be plenty good for, again, like a home theater PC or anything. So we're gonna go back out to benchmarks here and then we're gonna run the CPU profile. Yeah, let's check the thermal while this CPU one is running and just get my thing to come up here. Okay. So again, we're still seeing about 118.6 Fahrenheit is the highest. And yeah, this thing is cooling itself very well. It is exhausting heat in multiple areas. And again, it's really quiet. 
Yeah, so the hottest is, again, 118.6. Pretty good. I would not worry about heat on this thing. Um, and again, the fan's really quiet, but we'll come back when the CPU profile is done. Let's take a look at it here. So it is seeing that it's an Intel N95, which it should be, UHD graphics. Yeah, the results are about what I would expect for this kind of processor. None too bad. And again, it, it didn't get very warm. I'm gonna run a stress test now because I wanna see if I can get it really hot. I'll check back a couple of times and if it gets to an alarming temperature, we will take a look at that temperature. The stress test has been running for quite a while and again, 118 is about the hottest I can get out of the computer. Really, I'm only seeing about 117.9 right now. I'm really happy with this thing for the little machine that it is and for how quiet it is. This is really good cooling. Just, I am so surprised. Like the monitor is almost getting that hot. So, you know, that is pretty dang impressive. This has been the Camry GK3 Plus Mini. I'll have a link to it in the sticky comment in the description like always. I'll see you guys in the next video.